five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And we're saying... Ball for about the 97th day indoors. It's Alex Bennett, and it's the Ramble. Yeah, we go until midnight um, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Oh, look, I'm mooring. See that? That's what they call mooring. See when. When you're wearing a shirt that mores, I shouldn't be wearing a shirt that mores. Oh, well, what the hell? If you're watching us, you can see it. If you're not watching us, you don't have to deal with my moraying shirt. Look at that. Look at that. That's what they call moraying. Hello there. How are you? I am. I, the, the, my eyes are just absolutely trashed tonight. Uh, more of uh, more of the allergies, you know. They're, 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 it, it, it's allergy season here. I wish I could say it was COVID, but it's not COVID. So, what the hell? Hey, I just looked at something. We haven't played this in a long time. Wait a minute, let me play this. Let me see here. Hi, I'm Robin Leach with those champagne wishes and caviar dreams. And you're listening to the incredible, the memorable, the wonderful, the one and only Alex Bennett. Yeah, now you see that. Remember, you remember Robin Leach? I think he's dead now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, here, here's one that I kind of liked. Hello, this is Ed McMahon. Here's Alex Bennett. Now you see, I mean, uh, these are people who are dead who did promos for me. <laughs> How about this one? This, this guy's really dead. Listen to this, and, and listen to him try and do it. Listen. He wants you to do a station promo. What is it? This is Bob Modern Rock Hope. This you're is, listening to Alex this Bennett. This is Bob Modern Rock Hope. And you're listening to... Alex Bennett on Live Alex 105. Bennett on Live... 105. 105. Going up from the top? Yeah, one more. This is no. Bob Modern Rock Hope. You're listening to Alex Bennett, Live 105. <laughs> Alex Bennett, you're listening to Alex Bennett on Live 105. And what we had to do, we had to take that thing and then we had to chop it together. So it seemed like he was saying the whole thing. He, could, he was so far gone by the time we got to him. And I didn't even get to him. I didn't even, I didn't even get to meet him. Whoever recorded that was a guy doing promos for us who happened to bump into him and got him to do that, right? Uh, and then, of course, uh, there's this one. This person's dead, too. This is Bruce Schwartzman, and you're listening to the Fruit of My Loins, Alex Bennett. You see? Okay. All right. It's my mom. And uh, then this guy is still alive. Hi, this is Gilbert Godfrey, and this is the show that O.J. Simpson was driving home to listen to, Alex Bennett. Thank you very much. I love that. Hi, this is Gilbert Godfrey, and this is the show that O.J. Simpson was driving home to listen to, Alex Bennett. Yeah, anyway. Okay, well, there we go. There's, there's all our... Uh, I haven't used those in a long time, have I? No, no, I don't use them at all. Um, but anyway, let me see here. That's, that's about it. That's about it for promos of pe famous people doing promos for me. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, how are you? How are you this evening? Boy, I'm telling you, my eyes are just, whoa. And I almost didn't do a show tonight. And this is, and it's hot in here, even though I've got the air conditioner on. It is, it's just, it's horrible. It's just horrible. So anyway, we will, uh, we will try and do our best and get ourselves through the next uh, many hours here or how long we got? Well, we only got an hour and 20 minutes left. <laughs> only an hour and 20 minutes left. I almost, I almost didn't do a show tonight. I almost said, hey, I'm out of it. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. 
but uh, but no, we're 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 just going ahead with it here. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look here at the uh, big uh, world uh, map here and see what's happening with the uh, with the COVID. Huh? What's happening with the COVID? Well, uh, in the world, six million six hundred one thousand three hundred forty nine cases totally confirmed of COVID-19 novel virus. Uh, and uh, 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 global deaths, 389,620, okay? And that's not good, that's not good. Here in the U.S., we're uh, at, uh, let's see, 1,872,557 totally confirmed. We're already up to 108 deaths, 108 uh, 108,208 right there look at that and here here's how we've been going with it see what happened here in March nothing happening yep and we're still going up okay uh, we are not coming down uh, but you want to see you want to make ourselves feel good look at Brazil Brazil is now at 584,016 for a t total deaths of 32,548 look at that climb and they didn't start climbing until oh m m middle of march and then they climbed up a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and then they went all the way up there there we go uh russia how are they doing there there uh, let's see here russia uh 584 440,538 with 5,376 deaths now the deaths are pretty low compared to the amount of people who have gotten it. So either they're lying to us or they're holding on strong. Uh, and uh, uh, then you go down, they go to the United Kingdom, they've certainly got more deaths. They had 39, almost, 40, almost got up to 40,000 deaths here uh, on uh, 283,079 cases that's over i think that's over 10 percent of the people who got the coronavirus in the united kingdom died of it okay uh spain 240,000. wait a minute hold on a second spain 240,000. uh here it is hold on a second spain 240,000. come on spain there we go 240,000. There we are, uh, 240,000, wait a minute, there's 234,013, excuse me folks, I'm out of it, uh, 33,689 global deaths. Oh, they, they say global deaths there, but that's just the deaths in, uh, in Italy. Uh, India is under that, and, uh, you know, but the U.S. still leading the pack, folks, still leading the pack, uh, and uh, doesn't that make you feel really good, huh? Oh, uh, uh, well, what the hell? Uh, let me see here. Oh, God, I just, I got to tell you, I feel like, uh, like uh, basic doo-doo, okay? I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't even be here for this tonight. Um, uh, and it, believe me, it's not the coronavirus. I wish it was. I took my temperature before I went on the air, and I was at like, uh, I don't know, 93, uh, 90, uh, uh, 90, 96.0 or something like that. Yeah, so I'm fine. My temperature's fine. I'm not coughing. I'm sniffling like crazy, and the eyes are burning. And here's the thing. I would take, you know, they, they say, uh, my business manager was talking to him tonight, and he says, well, do what I do. Take Zyrtec. Well, I can't take those things. I might try one. They say if you've got prostate problems, don't take them because it, uh, it uh, somehow impacts the prostate in some way. But, man, I need something because I've been taking this stuff. You see this? Wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? What happened to it? Come here. Where are you? I can't find it now. Let me see here. Hold on. Mm. This this stuff, right? This is the uh, Costco version of what is uh, uh, Flonase, uh, and it's much cheaper than Flonase. It's called Allerflow, and it's pretty much exactly the same stuff as the uh, the uh, Flonase. But I do it in. Huh? 
And then you would think, okay, all of a sudden Alex isn't going to be dripping from the eyes. And Alex, no, no. And then this morning, I woke up with an incredible stomach ache, and I had to go to the bathroom. And I had the, uh, uh, what do we call it, the uh, Trotsky's uh, all, all day long from some food we ordered last night from Fresh Direct. Now, I'm not blaming Fresh Direct. I'm complaining my stomach system, which I am terrible when it comes to uh, uh, IBS. Uh, and uh, I have it kind of under control. What, what just dropped? Something dropped? It sounded like something dropped. Oh, well, nothing dropped. OK. Um, um, uh, um, I have uh, IBS, but uh, I have it under control because I found the best way to take, put it under control is if you take uh, probiotics. It, it really helps with it. I'm sure anybody who's had it and has tried probiotics agrees with me that it, it does work. So I take the probiotics, and I usually am pretty good. But, man, I don't know what it was. It was in the chicken cacciatore, and it, I guess, had too much cacciatore in it or something. And it gave me the cacciatores. So now that you've had the recital, my organ recital that I give every night, uh, of, of what's wrong with me and how ill I am and uh, what I've got to going uh, that's negative in my system. Uh, hi there. How are you? What's happening? Anyway, so I don't know. I just, uh, uh, it, we, we, oh, wow. I got to do something here, folks. I got to do something here. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. And then I got to do something else here. Um, trying to, these are all things I should have done before I actually got on the air, uh, but uh, uh, I didn't uh, do them. Uh, and I, uh, everything was in the wrong places and things like that. So anyway, uh, let's hope now that everything works fine tonight. Okay, uh, boy. So anyway, where, where oh yeah, I uh, uh, there was some noise outside my window today. Yeah, some some noise, and I look out the window, and uh, you know I told you that really our neighborhood has been pretty quiet when it's come to demonstrations and and looting and things like that. And you would have thought it wouldn't be because I live in Harlem, and it's a black neighborhood. So you would think that as a black neighborhood, the blacks in the neighborhood would want to protest about the death of uh, of. Uh, in, in Minneapolis, and uh, we have I had nothing until uh, this happened today, and I was so happy to see it because you know it gives you hope that the kids today are doing what they got to do. Watch this! Look at that. There, that's outside my window, uh, and uh, they. Uh, that by the way, that thing, that building you see there, right there, they're going past. That is the old. It was the original. Um, movie palace. Uh, yes, it was a movie palace, and now it's a it's a church. But there we go. We had all those people, right? Doing their thing. You know, I find that doing demonstrations like that is actually a young person's job. Uh, but that is a problem, though, because that could cause the spread of COVID. Now, our mayor, uh, our mayor, our governor today said, if you are in any of these demonstrations and you come home after those demonstrations, tell everybody in your house what you were, uh, what you were doing, because they should know, because, you know, you might have been exposed to COVID. But they're hoping that uh, here's what happened. The latest thing with COVID in, in, in New York City, was it city? Uh, well, New York State is that, well, you know, in New York City, that's it. In New York City, uh, five weeks ago, of the COVID tests that were given, 26% uh, of them came out positive. Yesterday, they did about, what was it, how many did they say they did? 5,000? No, more than that. More than that, about 20,000, something like that. An incredible amount of tests, and only 2%, 2% of 
were COVID positive. So we're hoping that a lot of those people in the marches aren't COVID positive and that uh, it doesn't spread badly. Oh God, my stomach's starting to bother me and I'm gonna drink coffee. Boy, Bennett, you are so smart. Mm. Mm. Well, I don't know. But anyway, so uh, we're doing okay. The amount of deaths is down, and, uh, uh, you, you know, hopefully we can keep it going that way. Now, every night I've been using the regular Skype instead of the special Skype I use because I'm so special called Skype Preview. And uh, the calls that we've taken have gone through okay, you know. We haven't really had a problem with people calling. Uh, and I'm going to have you people call now, and I may at some point, during this, have you guys just talk to each other, and I may have to run off to the bathroom because of this this, this uh, chicken cacciatore that got the best of me last night. I've really got to go out. I've really got to go outside, to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm, I'm getting so squirrely now, and it's getting so loud. Uh, I'm really getting absolutely squirrely from being indoors. Hi there, Brian. How are you? I, I yeah, you. I'm just like I am like I I'm like tired all the time, listless, don't have any energy. Are you still Are you doing the bicycle still? I want to, but I'm too lazy to. I mean, I just feel so out of it. I can't get myself on the bike to do it. You know. Maybe Maybe you should set a time every day, time to go do that or something. Well, I should do that, but you know me, uh, I'm not going to do that, am I? <laughs> So I'm trying. Okay. Let me see here. Let me see here. Who's uh, let's put, put let's put uh, let's put our friend. Uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Where does uh, if I if I put Charlie Wallace on? Where was he last night? Let's see. Maybe I don't have to find him a place. Okay. So I, in the number one spot, I can put Rob Alfano. Here comes Rob Alfano. There we go. Boom. Huh? <laughs> you had yours on last night. I know. I got my jerseys right there. Don't, don't, don't threaten me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Let me turn down the air conditioner here. It's making too much noise. I think you can hear it, right? Maybe you can. I don't know. Yeah. Let me see here. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fine. Hello there, uh, Rob. How are you doing? Good. How about you? I'm uh, trying to uh, survive here. Uh, you know, as I say, I've, I've just been beset by, I, I think I've just got a major problem where uh, uh, being indoors has just completely gotten to me. And I am just so cathartic and so tired and, and uh, so out of it. I, I can't believe it, you know. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Tomorrow, I don't, I've got to maybe get myself to go out. I don't care. I mean, I went out, the, I went out yesterday to go to the drugstore, but then I came home. That isn't much of being outdoors, you know. Yeah. Plus, you know, have, you, have, you, have any of you been going to any stores at all? Okay. I haven't been to one. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like going into a room full of bubble wrap, <laughs> you know. Uh, they like have plastic in front of all the people who work there, and uh, you know, it's a uh, hold on a second while I blow my nose. Oh boy, ah. So uh, anyway, so uh, so that's uh, that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I haven't I haven't been out, and I'm, and then I think about okay, well I'll go out. All right, it, it sounds sounds makes sense, right? I'll go out. Where do I go? Right. Yeah, I can go out, and there's no place to go, really, other than the yard. Well, where do I go? Do I take a subway somewhere? I'm sorry. You know. There's nowhere to go. Uh, do I take a uh, Do I take a uh, private car? Well, that'll cost me a fortune these days. To go uh, where? To go where? Yeah. Well, what am, what am I, I going to? I for driving the country. Yeah. Uh, what? I just went for a drive in the country. I spent about an hour. Oh, well, lucky you. Outside. That's what I did a couple of weeks ago. Lucky you. You guys have cars. All of you have cars. I don't have a car. I live in New York City. You don't own cars in New York City. You know, why do you own a car in New York City? Really no reason to. Nope. Um, 
And, it, and if you own one, it's, it's more expensive than when you own a car. You own a car, you buy it, maybe you pay cash for it, or you make payments on it, but that's it. And then you got some insurance. And your insurance is fairly reasonable probably where you live. Try, just start paying for insurance on a car in New York City, okay? Mm -hmm. Then add to that the fact that you have to put it in a garage, and that's going to be $800 a month. Is that what it is now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a one time, I had a $145 a month spot in Manhattan. When was that? It was in the 80s. Somewhere after the, the 1880s? <laughs> <laughs> Over on 9th Avenue and 52nd or something like that, I was working for a, a place and I had to drive in a lot. And then I think it went up to like 350 the last time I had a spot. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, so why do I own a car? Well, so, yeah. So you can get you in know. the car once every two months and take a drive to the country? It's cheaper to rent that car. That's exactly it. If Hertz were still in business. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's terrible. It's just terrible. You know what I did when uh, there's an app that I when I went to uh, Vegas with my wife, it's going to be maybe it was two years ago now. Mm -hmm. Wow. There is an app that I downloaded called Turo. And it's instead of you, you know about this, Brian, instead yeah. of instead of renting just your run of the mill Avis or, you know, you can rent cars from people and you can rent beautiful automobiles. Uh, I rented like really high end cars. They were fun to drive. I, I we rented a car and we took it um, to L.A. Mm -hmm. and back, right? Yeah. And so it was with this Turo, and it was uh, you know you get really really nice, beautiful cars to drive, and they have everything exotic. It's fun. That's what I like to do: drive fun cars if I'm going to drive a. Yeah. I don't listen. It's been so long since I rented a car. I think the last time I drove one was maybe three years ago. I don't know if I still know how to drive. Mm -hmm. You know, There's I that. have that great fear. I'm, I'm sure I'll get behind the wheel, uh, and about ten minutes in, I'll go, "Yeah, it's like you know, it's like riding a bicycle," which I can't. I do. haven't driven in months. <laughs> <laughs> right. Seems. I put zero start. miles. I did the mileage report for my company car which yeah. i'm allowed to use for personal and business mm -hmm. zero miles this month not one mile not one mile not one mile how do you have another car sitting. too do you have a private your own personal car? my wife we we lease my wife a car that she uses i have the company car which we could take wherever and then i've got the corvette that i use for fun mm -hmm. and how many and miles so the vet i've been driving more because i'm not driving to go to the store i'm like my wife and right. i took a nice ride into the country into the mountains took the vet on a beautiful day with the top down yeah and so the, the 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 ford escape has been sitting there just for a whole month not moved yeah. i started it a couple of times because the app alerts me it says yeah. your battery is running low well where's phil tonight i guess he was getting his shot today wasn't he yeah. his hormone shot maybe he doesn't feel well well either that or he's having his period i, I don't know you know uh, it's a He's, but we'll uh, hopefully he'll call. And we can find out how he's doing. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, you can even hear it in my voice. I'm like hoarse. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, uh, Charlie. Uh, yeah, you're talking about driving. Uh, I don't think I've driven more than 50 miles a month since March. Really? <laughs> so I'm, I'm making these car payments. <laughs> well, at least I'm saving. I, I don't think I've wa walked more than 50 feet in a month. So, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen to car prices because, you know, they go through these sometimes and, you know, people, unfortunately, who have some nice custom cars or classics, and they may have to sell them off to keep surviving. And stuff, so. Oh, that market. my insurance company is giving me a 20% discount. They, did, they just gave me 20% back. Well, because oh. nobody's driving their cars, so they're yeah. not, you know. They said that the, you have an accident if you don't drive the car. They said that in New York, uh, the there were virtually in I think one month there were virtually no pedestrian automobile accidents. Where on cool. a normal day there were like ten mm -hmm. or fifteen. You know, plus the air is clean out there. You yeah. know, but we're going to mess it all up again. We're going to screw everything up again. Don't worry. 
Very quick. Stand by, folks. Don't worry. We'll uh, have that nice brown air pretty soon. Huh? Yeah, well, the buses but, have to be creating it. The buses still run, right? Well, the buses. I, I'll never forget that standing on the corner waiting yeah. for a bus or waiting for the light to turn and the bus takes off and all that exhaust comes out yeah. and you're just breathing that in. Yeah, they're not that bad <sighs> anymore. I think they're using something else to power them or something like that, you know. But, uh, uh, no, we have the buses uh, are still running but and they're free. Really? They're free because uh, they don't want to uh, uh, have the drivers have contact with people so they have the whole area where the driver is supposedly blocked off, again, with bubble wrap or whatever. Holy and crap. then everybody goes in through the back door and sits down, and tries to wow. keep social distance. Yeah. And, you know, because of all these things that we've been doing, they're surprised, but those essential workers uh, are, have been affected less by the coronavirus than, say, people like you and me. Uh, they said yeah. th there's only about a 13% rate or something of people getting the coronavirus who are, are workers like that, where they find the largest amount of people who have been coming down with it are people like me who stay in the house. You know. Yeah, our company, we have, we have about 1,500 people there at the five or six buildings we have, mm -hmm. and we only had two people, and those were in early March. Really? And one person, yeah, one person I just saw back for the first time today. and uh, But other than that, everyone's been social distancing, mass. We were mass in the clean rooms anyways. So, yeah, um, yeah it's been yeah, surprisingly. We, we, we had to take action right away when the first person, because they were an assembler in one of the rooms. And so we had some people go ahead and home quarantine, but nobody else came down with it. Yeah. Or at least showed, showed symptoms. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, yes, uh, Jeff. I'm going to be tested tomorrow. Why? Hmm. Well, because they're going to do it to anybody in this town who wants to do it. And you're doing it. To, you don't have any suspecting thoughts that you might just doing it, right? No reason. No. It's just Marjorie's having one next week because she's got to have a procedure, just a small yeah. procedure, just a, a shot they give her in the back every six months to mm -hmm. calm down her stenosis Fine. and uh, she's got to have a, a, a COVID test uh, and if she doesn't have it then I guess I don't have it you know so yeah. I don't know. That's, a good time, that's a good time to take the test you don't want to take the test when you have symptoms that's the bad time to take the test well I mean but up until now they've said do not take the test unless you have the symptoms in other words, well, I guess the tests are becoming more available. Yeah, they're more available. So now they're saying yeah, if, you, just, if, you, if you want one, go get one. You know. Yeah, we just topped four million. Yeah. It's a small amount, but four million, pretty big for us. Mm -hmm. And then um, we are coming up with a combination of flu and COVID. We call fluvid uh, test for for next season that'll test for both. Fluvid. Oh, I say it'll, it'll test for both. Oh, wow. Flu and COVID. Yeah, because right now. Even before we had COVID, the doctors were giving the flu test and, and seeing if they had that. If they had that, then they say, okay, here, good, here, antibiotics and whatever. But then if they had, if they didn't test positive for that, but they knew they had some kind of flu, then yeah. they were, they knew they had COVID. Oh, okay. All right. You're breaking up a little bit on us. I don't know why. Uh, because you usually, you don't have that problem. But who knows? Anyway, um, uh, so, uh, you know, I mean, I, uh, uh, but, the, but the thing is, this damn, uh, uh, what do you call it, is driving me crazy, This these these allergies. My eyes were a little bad in the yard today where my mother went to Yeah, grass. well, if, know. you know, you yeah. probably aren't that allergic. I mean, I am. You're worse than me, yeah. I can it, see you bad yeah. in the house. Wow. Yeah, I mean, well, here's what happens. is there, there I sh should wear a face mask at home. That will help with it but it won't help with the eyes you gotta wear dark yeah. glasses to and cover keep, the eyes uh, you rub them yeah yeah Do you take a tablet alex would you try taking that no i was mentioning this before because of the prostate thing i i they affect the prostate right you can't oh. you can't do it i'm, I'm gonna check i'm gonna see if i can but anyway uh uh but uh it, it, marjorie always likes to have the windows open in the apartment 
Mm. Well, guess yeah. what? Guess where it comes from, folks? Where do you think it is? Huh? Yeah. The come, trees? It, come, it comes through the window. Yeah, you got to close that, yeah. Yeah, she won't close the windows. I can't stand have the windows <laughs> closed. Turn on the air conditioner, do any That's number right. of things, but for crying out loud. Maybe HEPA filters will help. I don't know what will help, but to tell you the damn honest to God truth, you know. They have uh, those really nice help of HEPA filters. And even if you do it, like if you put one there in the studio, in your, mm -hmm. you know, in your office there. Yeah. You know, when you keep the door closed, it'll keep the air purified. Yeah, well, my, my, my eyes are feeling just a tad better right right now at this moment because I've been in this room long enough with the air conditioner on that it's probably getting most of whatever's in this room out of here. Uh, but, you know, you're right. I mean, there are a lot of things. What happened? Yeah, I often wondered, okay, so you get a dehumidifier because of the humidity in the air, right? Now, what if you also buy a humidifier and you put them in the same room at the same time? <laughs> each other. It's a war. Is yeah. it a war? I don't... Does it become really <laughs> ugly? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like huh? Your electric bill goes you're, through you're the just, roof. Yeah, you're just going to be using electricity. Oh, for it's going to like you. Yeah. You get a Christmas time. But just love to lie there and just watch them fight each other. You know? But... Mm -hmm. um, so now the other thing that happened today, I wake up and Marjorie says, Alex, are you up yet? Yeah, I'm up, I'm up. Yeah, I, we have a problem. What is it? I, I caught a mouse. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Apparently a mouse got caught in one of our traps, finally. You got him. Yeah, and he had gotten halfway through the poison as well, so... He was on his way to mouse land, you know. And so she took them. He was in this uh, this little canopy thing with the trap in it. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of sticking out one end. So she took, picked the thing up and threw it in the garbage can. And then threw another trap on top of him to stick him to both oh, ways. Yeah. Little sandwich. And now he's in, he's, in the, he's, in the, he's in there just dying slowly. Oh, you get and, that and I, and I got to say, see the mouse? And he's going, Whoa. You know, <laughs> so so what she did is she double bagged the mouse. <laughs> the bag. I would throw some out. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, uh, so we had mouse problems. Okay, so that was our our big mouse mouse problem. Um, but apparently now we, we you know we got the mouse, right? Mm -hmm. They always say. There's more than one. Well, no, I think one, we already, right I think we already got one more because we haven't yeah. seen a mouse in weeks, okay? Oh. And then all of a sudden, sh this one got caught. Uh, I think the other one probably went to mousey heaven, you know. Oh, so yeah, He's up there eating. No, that's no good though, because well, if that happens, it's going to stink eventually. No, 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 no. I put the bag yeah. out, and it's going to be taken down tomorrow morning. No, I mean the other one. Well, the other one. Well, we haven't. If it smelled died it. in the house, we haven't smelled it. And Maybe you, know, you know, know what they say it. about mice? He who's dealt it, smelt it, or something. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but so we had big mouse problem today. So I woke up to that. Got to do something about the mouse, you know. And I felt bad for the mouse. Are you ready for that? I don't blame you. I figured, you know, we don't have a pet. We could, you know, that's at least something. <laughs> you know. Uh, let Put me see. Oh, here, here comes Phil. Here comes Phil. He's a little. Uh, a little late. He's alive. He's a little He's late to the party, alive. but uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, wait a minute. Hold on, Phil. Let me uh, let me just uh, put you on here. There's scuba diver. Here we go. And uh, now let me see here. Uh, oh, I gotta do that, and then I gotta do that, and everybody can see Phil. Hello, Phil. How are you? Hey, I uh, I must I dozed off. Did you really? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, I don't know if it was a uh, you know. Uh, part of uh, having that shot today, uh -huh. uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it could, be. could be, could be, could have been, been the shot. Yeah, yeah. So how's your go? Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, the nurse uh, said, "Have have uh, is this the first time you've had this hormone shot?" And I said, uh, "Yeah." 
uh, she says, well, you know, we, we give it to you uh, in the backside. And so I said, uh, oh, really? And so she says, uh, have you had a, a shot in the uh, tush before? And I said, yeah, when I was six. And, uh, <laughs> what, do mean, what, do mean, what do you mean shot in your tush? Most of the time I get shots, they put them in the tush. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I haven't had that many. Neither have I. No, but I mean, they, they, well, not inside the rectum or anything, but you know. No, but in the muscle. In no, the muscle. Never heard. Oh, when, oh yeah. when I when I went and had my uh, my my prostate biopsy, uh, they yeah. gave me uh, an antibiotic before they did the biopsy, and they did they did it in the rear end. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, uh, you know, they gave me some uh, like a lidocaine or a painkiller before the biopsy, but I don't remember getting an antibiotic. Uh, the um, uh, well, they had to give you an antibiotic, or they made you take pills for antibiotics because they, they don't want you to get infected. Yeah, well, you know, you go to get the flu shot, and they just stick you in the arm, and uh, that, so most shots that I've had, and yeah. you know, so they give you any information about what to expect with the uh, with the uh, hormone uh, shot? Yeah. Uh, okay. Nobody uh, laugh now. Go ahead, Phil. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be watching these, um, you know, uh, chick flicks. Well, you're going to be, you're going to find yourself watching uh, Lifetime yeah. more than you ever have in your life. He's going to sell all of his guns for handbags. So far, uh, you know, the only thing, uh, uh, the only thing is it's, it, I, I really don't feel any different. Uh, and so she says, uh, are you going to get this every six months? And I said, no, I don't think so. You know, uh, I think it's just one time during the course of treatment. Well, um, they, they do it. They do it because the, the hormones, uh, it, what happens is a prostate cancer, uh, cannot exist with the absence of a male hormone. Yeah. Okay. So what this does is it kills the male hormone, and therefore the cancer, while it doesn't kill the cancer, it prevents it from spreading or growing mm -hmm. or even being able to exist. So that's why they're giving that to you. Uh, yeah. Hey, Phil, does your girlfriend live with you? Yeah. That means you guys can synchronize your periods. Really? How old is Faye? Uh, 50. 50? Has she gone through the uh, the change? Uh, it looks like it's happening now. Oh, okay. Then you can both get hot flashes at the same time. Well, they, well, they, they said that I might get a hot flash. Or, okay. Yeah. They said that that's one of the... Uh, yeah. One I mean, of the yeah. Uh, but so far, nothing. You might grow hair on your head, right? Because oh, isn't it the... Yeah, because it's the it's the male it's uh, testosterone hormones that cause the, the, the hair loss. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but so it, I asked about that, and uh, I don't get I don't get that for the same money. Yeah, you know, must be. <laughs> <laughs> get to pay extra. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is the one that doesn't have the hair growth. Ah. See, because I I uh, he's gonna uh, be a Democrat now, huh? He's gonna be a Democrat soon. He's gonna yeah. get into the Republican. <laughs> softer side of Phil. Yes, it's going to come out. By the way, by the way, I got a, a a note last night from somebody who said you should ban who is it? The American, American Patriot? Patriot. Uh, that he is writing the same stuff every night. Do you find, do you watch it Char Charlie, do you look at the chat? Because I, I wrote this person back and I said, I can't do anything about the chat because I ain't got a show to do and I can't pay attention to the chat and moderate it at the same time I'm moderating it, the show. And uh, I haven't paid attention to American Patriot. Is he that much of a pain in the ass? Because I can ban yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, he says the same thing every night about Slow Joe and, and Goodbye Slow Joe and all that stuff. He's as big a pain in the ass as I am. <laughs> so, uh, Actually worse, Bill. You know, I mean, he's just saying what uh, what people like me believe. And as long as he's not abusive, I don't think. I mean, well, his yeah, opinion you know, is his it, Well, opinion. I mean, if this guy who wrote me just disagrees with him and doesn't right. like the disagreements, uh, right. I'm not going to I'm not going to censor that. Right. You know? right. Yeah, he, he doesn't attack anyone. Uh, no. You know, and you can be uh, sarcastic. We're all sarcastic. It's just a matter of being polite and and not, yeah. you know, 
derogatory to anybody. You know, I, I mean, occasionally I uh, glance <clears throat> at them, and you know, I mean, some of those people are, are downright nasty. But it, it, it takes. The guy here wrote, I used to get penicillin in the tush when I was a child. I think penicillin went in the tush. Yeah, right. Yes. I've gotten that's penicillin right. in yeah. the that's tush right. when I, as an adult. Yeah, you know, when I was six, they gave me shots in the tush. Right. <laughs> yeah, and now, the, and I, you know, and now that you're it, gay, you get a shot watched, in the tush. Yeah. So it's, you know. It's, yeah. yeah. I think the last time I had strep throat, they gave me a shot in the butt. <laughs> yeah. I was afraid yeah. of that. But anyway, so um, um, let me see here. Did anybody watch the funeral today? A I, little bit I watched. I saw Sharpton going off. He's going to do some kind of march, Alex. Well, uh, around August for Martin Luther King on Washington, I think I heard him say. Yeah, I didn't watch it at all. I saw a little bit of it, you know. Uh, yes, Pamela. I watched, I watched uh, part of it that Sharpie spoke. Yeah. And... I really am not a friend of his at all. He just drives me crazy. He was terrific. He did a great job. Well, he was doing his best impression of his old boss, James Brown. Yeah. You know. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't like Sharpton because uh, I consider Sharpton a civil, a civil rights ambulance chaser. Yeah. You know, uh, and uh, I, I, I like the genuine articles. Okay, and there's some really good, genuine articles out there. They get upstaged by this guy because he's promotion crazy. Yeah. You know. But, I mean, if he gave the family some, some relief today or said things that made people feel better, then, you know, all the more power to him. You know. I, think, I think one good thing that's happening is there's a lot of people, <clears throat> you know, the famous people we say, uh, from Hollywood and all stuff, and football players and stuff like that. You know, not like droopies, but other people. Uh, a lot of other people are starting to speak up finally, and they're starting to get on the air. So, well, you, well, you know what? I'll tell you something that I was thinking about today, uh, and I don't want to diminish the problems that black people have with the police, but you know, the, the Hispanics have problems with the police as well, yeah. as do many white people. I mean, uh, I know that I was uh, at a demonstration once kicked in the shins by a cop, and I'm 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 white, okay. Um, I, I I think it is a question of police who abuse their authority, period, and we have to deal with that and make sure it doesn't happen, you know. But we can't just say, oh, I'm black. There, I mean, your chances are pretty good that if you're black there's more of a chance that you're going to get abused by a cop, or let's say a rogue cop to keep Phil happy, uh, than you are by if you're white. But I'm still saying it is a general problem that needs to be dealt with, and it's needed to be dealt with since I was a kid, okay? I mean, there was a time when police were getting away with bloody fucking murder. Mm -hmm. uh, did somebody have their hand raised there? Uh, no, I was just eating a pistachio. Oh, oh, you're a pistachio <laughs> nut like me. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you get them shelled or pre shelled? Um, these These's are lightly salted shelled already. Yeah, I like the already shelled one. I'm lazy yeah. with pistachios. I don't want I like to have to the, work. I like the ones in the shell because you eat them slower. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. But they've got, yeah. they've got one, the honey roasted pistachio. Otherwise, are to yeah. die for. <laughs> eat that whole bag in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. They're, they're a low carb snack. They yeah, are. I eat a lot of cashews. They're a little stronger in carbs. Anyway, what were you saying, uh, uh, Jeff? Um, my 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 black friend, mm -hmm. his wife, his wife says that the first thing they teach their kid they have, they have the they have the talk. Like three years old, yeah. don't get in, in trouble with the police and don't ever say anything bad. They, they, well, uh, I mean, Charlie, when you were a kid, were you given the talk? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then the talk basically is, if I'm correct, if a cop stops you, yes, sir, no, sir, yeah. cooperate, and then get the hell out of there. Yep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and that all my friends know that. Yeah, uh, and it's a shame that anybody has to tell their kid that. 
You know, I never had that speech from my parents, you know, because they didn't perceive it as a problem. Um, but, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's been a problem. It was a problem when I was a kid, you know, what was, what was happening to blacks. Because I used to hang around with the black kids. You know, I was a bad guy. I used to hang around with the black kids. Uh, and um, uh, I, I saw it going on. I saw what was happening. I, I understood what their life was like, you know. And I often tell the story about how I was, I was very hurt by the fact that when finally there were riots in Watts and the whole movement started taking place, that my best friend said to me, I can't see you anymore because you're white. And we're kind of on, two, on different sides of the, uh, of the problem. He said, not that I don't think the world of you. He said, I, I just can't. I, I've got work to do, I think is how he put it. You know. And then he, a couple of weeks later, he drowned in the bay. So, you know, it was, uh, it, was, it was one of the most depressing moments of my life and it has lasted with me forever. And why I hate racism, you know, because it wasn't the thing that drove us apart wasn't the relationship between he and I. It was the relationship between he and the rest of the world. And, and it, it's terrible. Uh, uh, you know, I, I find it a little ironic that a guy, uh, what's his name again, the guy who got killed? I, my mind's a blank today. Floyd? George, uh, Floyd. 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 George Floyd. Jo George Floyd. The George Floyd, probably absent this thing happening, nobody ever would have known who he was right. outside of the people who were close to him. Uh, now he has become an icon uh, because of his death. Uh, and I find that I think I find that bizarre because I would rather yeah. that he not be famous right now and alive. Yeah. You know, and and I think making him an icon when he's dead really doesn't do much for him. You know, he's you just dead. Had, you just had Ahmad Aubrey, you know, go the the jogger who was in Georgia. Yeah, that. And, I mean, they have you know, a video of all that stuff, and I was watching all that stuff, and. It sort of blew by again, you know, and it was another another killing that just went by again and nobody did much. So, I mean, unfortunately, it, it takes something like this. And I think coronavirus is sort of good that we're going through this because then I think if we wouldn't have that also, all these protesters also would be out there. Well, they, they arranged, they, in the Aubrey case, they, uh, they uh, 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 put the people on, uh, you know, they indicted the people today. They made yeah. them plead today. And the uh, guy that uh, uh, took the video, uh, uh, I, all three of them, all three all, of them, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, they said a bail they, of a they million said, dollars. They, here, here, here's NBC. This is why I hate him. I hate NBC. I mean, this is why I really hate NBC. Uh, they said, and uh, they're they're, they're going to describe what was said on the scene. Uh, it could be rough going for a lot of you out there, and then they run it. And then they bleep the two words out, which is fucking nigger. Yes. yes they bleep the two words out. And I'm going, why did you bleep it out? You, I, I, I'm, I'm, you I'm the public. Just, yeah. I need to know what these guys are accused of having said. And then up on comes Left, Lester Holt again. He says, yes, and he, they were accused of saying effing N-word. That's how he put it, effing N-word. <laughs> and I'm going, huh? Huh? What are we children? We can. Well, but it is a. It's. If they would have said it, they would have come under scrutiny for saying it. You know something? I don't think they would have. I think there are laws, there are regulations in by the FCC that in this kind of case where you are quoting a court case, you can you can quote it. You know, and the fact that they bleeped it out was pathetic. It was just pathetic. Uh, by the way, here's a good, here's a little bit of information you're going to love. The owners of MSNBC, of course, is NBC. Mm -hmm. uh, they also own the NBC net network and NBC News. Do you know what they're considering doing? They've got this real estate at night called CNBC that really doesn't have any programming of note at night except for Shark Tank over and over and over again, which does very well for them. But they don't have any other programming on because it's a business network. 
and businesses closed at night, okay? You know what they're thinking of doing with that fallow time? Uh, Joel Olstein? No. <laughs> no, that, leave that to Sirius XM to do that. Uh, uh, no, they're thinking of going out and hiring a bunch of right-wing commentators to do commentary at night on CNBC. That's what we need. Yeah, right. Just what we need, what another we need. one. Do you know, here in New York, we've got CNN and MSNBC, okay? Then, then we've got CNBC, which doesn't have a political bent. Then yeah. we have uh, OAN. We have Newsmax. We have Fox Business, which is political, and Fox, which is political. Four against two. A little, you know, there's a little too much of that. You know, if you'd wanted to balance it out, that would be fine. But they're not balancing it out. It's clear who makes more money. I'm sure, you know, it, it, I, I, I don't know. I would have said in the old days the right wing gets the higher ratings because what they're saying is more controversial and much more in your face than the way the left wingers do it. But I don't know if that's the case now. John? Hey, it would be cool if they, uh, they put those anti Trump. Uh, uh, right wingers because those guys are kind of you know interesting like uh you know the lincoln project guys and all those dudes uh rick wilson and uh what's that guy that was uh he was he's he's on msnbc all the time with the uh shaved head uh steve schmidt mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like that guy he's pretty good i like to listen to that guy he's a right wing guy yeah, I mean, there are a lot of right-wingers you could hire that are good, but they're, they're thinking of doing this, especially if Trump doesn't get reelected, because they see it as, a, as an outlet, as a bigger outlet yeah. for that. Where does uh, that Sinclair network fit into that? Is that just radio, oh, or is that that's, they're basically Well, they're television TV. stations, but they're not, they're, not a, they're not a TV channel. They were supposed to be buying the Tribune stations, and it got blocked, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know Sinclair is Sinclair is what Sinclair is, um, and uh, you know I mean years ago we used to have a thing called the equal time provision, mm -hmm. where you had to make time available for people to have equal time to speak on issues and so on and so forth, and that went away. They they did away with that, and so that's when. Rush Limbaugh, breakers. when Rush Limbaugh suddenly became very heavily political to the right because he could do it without having to bring somebody on to counter him or the station having to have another guy on the air who was on the other side. Uh, and so absent the equal time provision, uh, Rush Limbaugh was able to flourish and so was, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> Rupert Murdoch and his properties and so on and so forth. And there is no such thing as equal time any longer. I mean, you don't see any equal time over at MSNBC. No. I mean, MSNBC I, doesn't have any any uh, any right wingers, basically. You know. Doesn't that just seem wrong? Of course, it's wrong. So it's why wrong. is it's, it allowed but, but, to happen? But, but because you got Fox, it doesn't have any left wingers. No, yeah. MSNBC has some right wingers. Who? Like. Um, like Rick Wilson and uh, well, he doesn't come on that much. Who's but, Rick uh, Wilson? I'm talking. I'm talking about hosts. Oh yeah. I'm talking. Well, about that uh, that lady that does the daytime thing was a right winger. Uh, no, she was. She, she was, was. She was a Republican. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But she's not. Well, I, I know. Okay. Yeah. Republican. Yeah. No. I mean, there. But uh, uh, you know, I I just yeah. I I think it's pretty boring. You know, it's like playing the same song over and over again all day long on a radio station. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah, but, you know, if if Trump uh, doesn't get reelected, all those stations are going to lose a lot of money because, it, it, you know, people won't be watching anymore. There won't be as, as much to argue about. Well, he won't be dominating the news, although is it my imagination or has he not been around for the last couple of days after that whole he's debacle? Yeah, he's hiding. After, he's got, he's, he's I think his advisors are telling him just to shut the fuck up. Well, I mean, he's been on, the memes. He's been on a lot more memes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. with a couple dildos holding it. It's so funny. 
Yep. yep. Of the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Bible thing was a bad idea. Was a real bad yeah. idea. At least the way he held it, you know, if he had taken it and held it up like this, I was thinking about it. If he had held it up like this, you know, over his head, I got to, you know, over his head. But he was he was holding it like this. You know, it looks strange. It looked yeah. really really awkward. I mean, is that going to be the when when he loses? The, uh, You're breaking up on us, Tony. Yeah. You're frozen, Tony. No. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We got a frozen oh, really? Tony. Uh, okay, <laughs> now, now you're okay, Tony. Now you unfroze. Uh, I don't know. Is your mother playing oh. video games or something? <laughs> don't wake her up, please, for the love of God, she'll never let me sleep. Don't wake my mother up, ma, ma. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, so I mean, um, uh, there, they, they, and now. He's got it even worse. Something like, what is it, five generals and whatever came mm -hmm. out against him today? Yeah. Yeah. You know. He's, they, that ship's sinking <clears throat> like a rock. I mean, he, that when, you, when you start having those people going against you, you know, it, it's getting pretty, it's getting kind of bad. And, yeah. and, and then you had, of course, uh, uh, what's his name from Utah? Uh, Ran Romney. For, Romney, Romney, of course, came out Romney's against her today. And then a woman from Florida, I think. No, it's from uh, Alaska. Alaska, Alaska yeah. Murkowski. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Came out against him today, said that she doesn't know if she can back him in the election. Uh, and I think yeah, this is the beginning. Time. This is the beginning of, of a, a wholesale um jumping don't get too a ahead of yourself huh what <laughs> don't get too ahead of yourself no, um, did, 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 wait, what, what, ha what happened pass. to john he, did he pay his yeah. electric bill oh okay. the guy from arizona uh the astronaut uh, i think he's uh is he beating or beat uh, uh he's, he's leading in the polls yeah, yeah he's got like an eight point lead against mcsally yeah and that could be uh, uh, devastating in the um, uh, Senate. Yeah, he, he's married to the uh, the senator that got shot in the parking lot. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. all, right. Wow, all, right. all right, all right, all right, all right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gabby uh, Gifford or something like so, that. Yeah, yep. yeah. Gabby Gifford. Yep. So if yep. if yep. he if he wins, uh, yeah, I I think uh, I think Trump's going to have a hard time of it. I do. If he gets another four years and they get the Senate, they're going to impeach him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, what are you going to impeach him on now? Yeah, Just reopen. Being huh? being an asshole. Bad hair. Being an asshole. Okay. I Just saw the funniest. I'll tell you what I saw. I saw the funniest interview today. I, I, Lately, my great pleasure is YouTube. I don't know why I just start surfing YouTube like crazy. Yeah. There's millions of things there. And I came up against David Letterman in, oh, when he was over at NBC, interviewing wow. Donald Trump for the first time. <laughs> and the whole first half of the interview was him constantly saying to Trump, so how much are you worth, Donald? I saw that interview. And he, and he keeps saying, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say. I don't know. I'm not going to say. And then he finds another way to ask him the same question. Mm -hmm. And then he says, okay, how much would you have to lose to start drinking? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, well, I, I don't drink, and I, I, that, it, that wouldn't be a problem. He said, uh, if tomorrow they came to you and said, well, you know, you got to get rid of everything, and we'll write you a check for it. How much would that check be? I mean, he kept asking the questions over and over again. And finally, at the end, he asked him one more time, and he said, look, I don't know. I have no idea how much I'm worth right now. And he said, you sound like you're running for office. Uh, and I went, wow. <laughs> he was a charming guest. On those shows, those in those days. Yeah, yeah, he was. Oh yeah. Well, no, I, mean, I thought he was a dick. Yeah, I liked him yeah. on those shows. I've always hated tell, the guy. Yeah, you could tell though when somebody starts digging in on some of those old ones, he had, he doesn't like that at all. Yeah. Excuse me for wiping my eyes all the time, folks, but I've got this. These allergies. I, I've got a problem. What? 
I, I found a cord on my desk. I don't know what it goes to. Well, oh, please, minute. that's like the famous thing. I got so many cords around here. You what? know what it is? You get, you get, uh, and this is another pet peeve. Mm -hmm. How many things do you have where you have something like this? Oh, one of these bricks yeah. or one of those things you plug in? Mm -hmm. I thought I had the right one once for a sound bar after I moved. Blew it up. I blew up the sound bar. <laughs> plugged in the wrong one. So now I'm afraid I got all these bricks here and they're not labeled. And they don't, usually, no usually they on. don't. They don't. If if the if the thing will fit in it. Okay. This is a specialty a specialty plug. This is so weird looking, and I have no idea. Well, wait a minute. Hold it up. Hold it right up to the camera so I can see it. That is. A, a, um, that is. Um, oh, that is. Uh, that is uh, um, uh, uh, that. Uh, I never saw one like that before. Well, I've, I've seen them. I've seen them. Them. I've seen them and like that, but they're larger. Yeah, for I ten, for right. ten cents. I had a network drive blow on me tonight. Really? Yeah. Oh, in your in your SAM? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no. This is one of the individual ones I had lying around here, and luckily it was one that I didn't use much for anything. Just porn, huh? Yeah, no. Uh, that one's okay. <laughs> if that one went, I'd commit suicide. Yes, Brian. I I have, if you see, Ikea. Ikea has these weird lights, you know, and yeah. they have this one little plug that plugs in there, and then they have the, the regular cord plug that goes in there. And it's really bizarre looking. When we moved into this house, I couldn't find it for a long time. I was going to go to Ikea and steal one. <laughs> We, all of a sudden, I found it somewhere, and I was like, oh, my God, I know what this is. And we're running right to it, and we already plug it in. Finally. I have a whole bag. I have a whole bag that they filled up with with, with those with those plugs. <laughs> right. You know, and, and you're and afraid what, to throw them out because. Well, well if I need one, I start saying, well, will this one fit in here? Will this one well, fit in here? Well, be careful with that because mine fit, fit it in, plugged it into the wall, it and the sound bar it, never it, worked it, again. It shouldn't, it, it shouldn't yeah. have blown if it fit. It must have quit. I don't know. If it fit, you know, uh, Rob it must have quit. That was Johnny Cochran. <laughs> Rob's got a P touch. He's, he's, he's got a, and you know, see he, it here. Yep. Label all of those things. I yeah, I was thinking about that, but this is the first P touch that came out. Yeah. I, I can't even tell you when. This was given wait, to me wait, as a, wait, birth, wait, wait, wait. a Christmas gift P -touch? years P -touch? ago. It still you, works. I, I, I labeled my console here with it. You said P touch. What are you referring to? Masturbation. Brother P touch. Yeah. Hey, Rob, remember the thing they used to sell on lamps since you used to put the color codes on and then type it? It used to come oh, out. Yeah, the Dymo. Dymo, oh, Dymo label maker. Yeah, yeah those things are really change. good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This thing works great. Yeah. Well, you know, if I would have done something like that with this, not, and I, for the life of me, don't know why it's on my desk. Don't I mean, it's away. just like it appeared. You throw it away and you'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll um, suddenly yeah. go, why the hell did I throw that this away? One's, I, this one's different enough that if I throw it away, I think Can't you go mistake. online somewhere? Isn't there a site that goes, what kind of plug is this? This yeah. is a, one of like, those Casio CD like, CD title things. You put a CD in here. Yeah, right. And you have a program on your computer and you design a label and it laser prints it on. There's no label. You don't stick anything to it, but you put the, the raw CD in here. And it actually prints directly on the CD. It's sitting here because I don't know <laughs> where the brick is for it. Well, no, here <laughs> I'm afraid it, to plug it I, in. Uh, for something. years, I was buying printers that would print labels on C yeah. for CDs. And you could yeah, you don't yeah. need to do that with this. You just put the seed, the naked CD in there. If you buy the blank ones, yeah, and yeah. you can, it'll print. You choose a top and a bottom, and you could. Format it. Looks great. Well, you could do that. Well, you could do. You could do that. I first saw you could, them. You could do go, the, go online, and uh, and look up that particular product and and see the uh, schematic for it, and maybe it'll tell you which brick uh, fits it. For it, ten cents, yeah. they could put the name Casio on it. Yeah, and then I would know. Yes. <laughs> Every time I move and I unplug things and you put them away, you, you, they never match up again. I don't know. I have such a rat's nest of wires under this thing. One day last week, I accidentally moved my foot in the wrong place and turned off everything. <laughs> really? I'm serious. <laughs> Yeah. So I had to move all those things out of the way. Here's the thing that bothers me. You know the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the... Um, where you put the electric plugs in the, the, the power strip power strips I, why do they put a on off switch on the power strip 
Uh, it's a good place to control it from. So, no, wait a minute. Why? Why can't you have because. your choice? Because I want them. I have to put tape over them so they don't turn off accidentally. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. And and it's it. it why why can't you just plug into them and they go okay it works you know that's a safety feature what safety yeah. feature for what if you have those a thunderstorm and you have a oh. lightning bolt go by overhead to blow out all your electronic equipment unless you have a um, circuit breaker like that's that not a circuit breaker off. though it's, he's talking about like a rocker switch a rocker switch yeah uh -oh. yeah, yeah well that, that's well, what happens well, those, those things automatically those sometimes. most of those things automatically have circuit breakers in them Mm -hmm. But I'm talking the about the ones, rocker yeah. switch. I've got a couple of things down here with rocker switches. If I accidentally touch them, boom, they're off. Yeah. You know, got to reboot. Yeah, me too. I got one on the floor right here. Yeah. I got to be careful about. Yeah. So what we should do is probably have a segment on this show maybe in the next couple of weeks called What's This Plug? <laughs> right in the middle of the show when you pull it and yeah. see what happens well I'm down to 66 <laughs> degrees and it's hot in here hold on a second temperature Every, everything time. else on on the desk doesn't have this plug <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I looked there's a GoPro um, I, I it's bought. really a problem huh? Yeah, uh, it's, it's really a problem I can't find the plug I've got one of these S, what do they call it? It's my brother used to get, um, it's a recorder. It records audio and video, mm -hmm. a little thing. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of that company? It's about this big. It's about as big as my phone, but it's thicker. I can't find the thing to charge it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we should, no we idea should have where a, it we is. We should have a show called, what's, name this plug. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, this is your life. You know? Imagine if they did the end of the show. This is your life. You just hear the voice in the back. I used to like when they used to do that. I like you, that show. Who is shows Alex, you how old you are. This is your life, Alex. Imagine that would be funny. <laughs> are you really? Okay. Okay. Anyway, man, I'm sweating like a pig in here. It's get the AC what, going. What's the te wait a minute? What's the temperature? Let me look at my watch. Let me look. At Who's having hot flashes? You are. <laughs> <laughs> it's only seventy. Changes. <laughs> 76 degrees. You want me to order you but, something for Macy's with my mom? Let me know. What? It's 50% off. No, Phil, 50% off Macy's. Why? Are they looting again? No, but they're trying. I guess they're hurting Hondo. Yeah, they probably. Listen. She used to work there. I can get you an extra 20. Yeah. So. She's got a Macy's card. Yeah. Everybody's grandmother or aunt worked for Macy's. Herald Square. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, whoever st went in the Apple store and looted it and stole iP iPhones, I was saying last night, has got to be the biggest idiot in the world. Because there's no way you can use those iPhones. They're not designed as regular hey, units. I thought if they're not um, if they're not locked, you can. Or what do they call it? They're not. Uh, break them. They're, yeah. They're, they're, you, you jailbreak them. Or if they oh. haven't been programmed or something. But all those units are, are demo units. They're oh. not oh, the stuff full fledged. There. Yeah. No, I I well, to go if into they got the, into the uh, warehouse where all the ones for sale are. Oh well, yeah. I I've I've used uh, I've gone into the Apple Store and they'll have computers like uh, a Mac Pro mm -hmm. things like that and you can actually surf the web and 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 do stuff on them. But they have it locked. It's not really wide open. Uh. And they usually got a cop in there now too. Yeah, yeah, they have they have uh, cops at the Walnut Creek one. Yeah, but and, even uh, even though the store's closed, they have somebody guarding the place. Yeah, no, when it's open. It's open. Uh, matter of fact, at the Walnut Creek one, the guy, the cop car was parked the facing the wrong way on the road, yeah. and I didn't, uh, you know, so I I was in the store and I said to the guy, "Is everything okay?" He says, "What? What do you mean?" I said, "Well, you know, it looks like you made an emergency response to, you know, to get here." He says, "No, nah. <laughs> just the way they park. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, maybe they're trying to show a presence that, you know, that they're there, and you know, don't screw with them." Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so uh, so anyway, we haven't heard really from Trump in the last couple of days. It, it's it's this. The only time I can remember him actually remaining silent. I hear he's been doing tweets, though. I hear, well, yeah. Does. Yep. He, I, I hear he did a tweet uh, vilifying Mattis, you know, mm -hmm. loser general, 
if he's a loser general, why'd you hire him in the first place? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like what he said uh, that uh, uh, the only time he was uh, in concert with uh, Obama is that they both fired Mattis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? But yeah, but Trump didn't fire Mattis. Mattis was uh, Mattis right. quit. Yeah. Um, well, maybe he, you know. It just told- was a good line, so he used it. No, he, he quit because uh, Trump backstabbed the Kurds and pulled out of Syria. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, was, that yeah. was cold. Well, how do you feel about all these people that are turning against your boy now? I mean, it really is getting a bit pervasive now. I mean, what, you know, it's kind of like when there's a dog and he uh, uh, he finally gets uh, some other dog gets the best of them, all the other dogs pile on him. You think that's going to start uh, happening yeah. now? You're always going to have a, a back and forth, and you know. Are you? Is this? A, isn't this a little unprecedented? No. Really? No. Do you remember this in any other presidency? Well, do you remember anything like Trump in any other presidency? Well, there basically, you go. Like, <laughs> basically there what Mattis said right was he felt that Trump had been bastardizing the Constitution. He'd been misusing it and and uh, violating it. Uh, what what's the uh, thing that he's uh, said that he'd invoke to get the military into the cities that are rioting? Uh, the insert uh, um, insurrection uh, uh, law that was developed. Yeah, the insurrection act. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, from 1807. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's actually illegal to use the military against uh, American citizens unless he invoke the insurrection act. And, uh, oh, yeah, but how do you call? How do you identify this as an insurrection? You know, here's the thing that I'm is kind of getting to me. I'm, I'm getting tired, uh, and even our governor was mentioning it today on some level, uh, overt, not overtly but subvertly, about uh, what do you call it? anti and antifa, antifa, yeah, antifa, antifa, yeah, about antifa. And I got to tell you, I think that's a whole myth. It is. I think it's a complete myth trying to scare yep. the American people into thinking there's some covert operation going the on boogeyman. called Antifa a, that's out to wild. get them. Uh, what, what was that movement? Uh, Wall Street something? Wall Street. Uh, Wall Street. What, Occupy what, what, Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Wall Street. Or yeah. they, uh, uh, you know, uh, active during that? Uh, no. And, I never, look, and, I've been involved, I've been involved, Phil, in, in left-wing politics for most of my life. The first time I ever heard the word Antifa was coming out of Donald Trump's mouth. Oh, then you know it's not true. They've <laughs> been around. Huh? Berkeley, and uh, they, they've, been, they've been around. And yeah, but they it, seem to come out of the woodwork when, uh, you know, when there's like a, a right-wing speaker at Cal Berkeley. <laughs> Uh, they yeah. seem to show up and protest and and uh, cause mayhem, uh, break windows. What, 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 like what's that. bad about an organization that's against fascism, against Nazis, against the Ku Klux Klan, yeah. is against? That's Antifa. That's Antifa. That's, yeah. The black Hebrew, uh, what's your names, are are uh, pro-Israeli. Now they they adopt these names, and there's nothing in fact to do with being anti-fascist with this group of terrorists and that's all they are no but terrorists terrorists, i want to know what uh, tell me tell me a specific instance in which antifa has caused a uh, a terrorist act uh it it, at cal berkeley there's been a number of speakers that no, uh, no, that, that is not, not a terrorist that act. That's not a terrorist they, act. Uh, they were burning things. Through, they 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 stopped the speakers from speaking. But that wasn't Antifa. They, uh, that was the students, uh, Phil. Uh, that was the students. Yeah. That was the students. That wasn't Antifa. Yeah, there there is no uh, such thing as Antifa. they it's, 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 it's not an organization. It's just a, a, a loose group well, of people that all do the same shit. Matter. It, you know, so they get together whenever they want to cause mayhem. And, uh, you know, for how come there were rocks and bricks delivered in, in, on, on the roadside where these protests were? How do we know those weren't place? planted by right-wingers? That was fake, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Phil, Why would, Phil you know? you've got right-wingers claiming to be Antifa right now that have been thrown off Twitter. Yeah. 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 They found that they weren't. These from from all sides, but 
you know, I think there's more uh, proof out there on this Antifa and this, uh, you know, left wing. I know a lot of I know a lot about protesting. I know a lot about rioting. I know a lot about those things. I they're, they're never never heard about taking buckets of bricks and putting them on street corners so people can have bricks to throw. Well, they're saying that they're extremely organized. They're and not. Maybe they're not organized. Well, you can you can say no, they're not. But <laughs> well, they're not. No, but it's Phil, crazy. Phil, 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 look Put at this. Look at there. look at this logically. Mm. A bucket I'll, of bricks. I'll, Come on. The only organized people well, they found are the actual right wingers that are pretending to be left wings to uh, instigate I, I, riots. That's the a boogaloo left, boys. Uh, Have you heard uh, about those uh, guys? Uh, uh, a talking point just to cover yeah. up for their uh, no their what it is is it's Trump's talking point that this is something that exists that is is American terror and you got to watch out for Antifa I mean yeah. I, I I gotta tell you there are worse groups in America I mean the, the, some of the right wing groups the militias are are really a problem no, and we don't do anything about them your, your friend Tom Yamaguchi had mentioned Antifa uh, during some of the conversations that we'd had on the air, uh, not to me, but to the group. I don't uh, remember that. in in Berkeley. He's he's aware of them, and and this was a couple of years ago. Well, I want to know where they are because I want to join. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah, I want to join. The pound king. Because I like what they stand. I like what they stand for. They're against fascism in all its forms. Yeah. Uh, I'm all for them. So if if well, somebody will give me an address or a place <laughs> where I can at least send a donation, uh, yeah. let me know. They're at 116th Street and 7th Avenue. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And keep the next block. Make a left. Yeah, make a left. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they don't even have like a web page or like a Facebook organization. No, it's, uh, they don't. Uh, that I know of. Well, they do have a tw they do have a Twitter account, but it turned out they were right wing people who were doing that. Yeah, you know. Uh, if they're going to be a secret organization, they wouldn't be very secret if they had a, a web page that you could see. You know, the, even the uh, the Arab uh, uh, underground uh, radical groups have web have pages, but I couldn't find them if I wanted well, to. Well, I just I just want to know so I can join up, so I can be at the next demonstration, or so maybe I can deliver <laughs> a bucket of bricks somewhere for them. Uh, you have you know, yeah. you know, one of those black uh, hoods that you can uh, uh, put over you, and you got to get a black backpack, and you know. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Phil's got black on. He might be part of them already. Yeah, you know, Phil, Phil might be Antifa, and we don't Phil even know. It. It's slimming. <laughs> it's slimming. All, all I'm saying is that I, I, when I hear things like this, I, I, it makes me very suspicious because these are the kind of lies that are usually spread to what, what, the, what, the, what the, the president was trying to do was to try and um, really make all the demonstrators look bad, even though he said, oh, well, we have good demonstrators out there. Well, who are they, you know? Um, but, you know, he, he creates this, this mythic uh, thing to scare America. I mean, this... The one thing Mattis said, and I think Mattis was absolutely right, is he's the first president who hasn't tried to keep America together and bring America together. He's tried to drive a wedge between Americans. I oh. thought Obama was doing that. Oh, no, he wasn't. Oh. When? No way. But Obama, and when he spoke, I saw a wedge. I really did. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I have no, no idea what wedge crazy. you saw. All I know is that, you know, I mean, no, if you want to say, Alex, you think Obama was perfect? Well, no, I don't think he was perfect. I think he was an amateur at the very beginning, uh, and I think he continued to be an amateur for most of his first term. But he learned how to be president. By the end, he was doing a pretty damn good job. I, I didn't think, I didn't like George Bush's politics, but I didn't think he was divisive. No. Right. No. no. He was, uh, no, so that's what I mean. He, he same as same as Obama, you may not like I, his politics. I, I can't. Can you but name not a, divisive? Can you name a president that's as divisive as Trump is? No, no. I can't name no. one. And it's even Trump's Trump's whole platform, platform was. was I, I never liked down. Reagan. I thought Reagan was a was an idiot, but right. I don't. I wouldn't accuse him of that. Right. Look yeah. how left attacks Trump. You don't think that that's divisive? Don't you think that would help though if he were if he were uniting? 
uh, he, as opposed to he he could kiss you on the back of the neck and you wouldn't uh, you know uh, unite with him. Yeah, I that see that you put him. That's because he's crazy. He's doing it. He, because he doesn't do anything to to oh, he doesn't John, do anything to ingratiate the other side. In fact, he'll he even put, make offhanded comments about well, he's Democrat. You know, he'll try to say something nice about somebody. Oh, he's a Democrat instead of saying something nice. If if a Republican says anything, to begin with, Alex would say, to begin with, I don't believe it because he has to, an R. To, to begin with, it. Phil, you'd be absolutely wrong if you said that Trump was a right winger. He's not a right winger. He's not. He's he not, yeah. yeah. He's self serving. He's, he's self serving. He's self serving. What? He's what? Yeah. He's Rockefeller? Yeah, not, not Nelson your, Rockefeller. Not, not, was, your, uh, not uh, your, What do they call him? Rhino? Uh, uh, well, yeah, that would be a Republican in name only, supposedly. Yeah. Um, Trump's a fascist. Trump's just a fascist. No, I don't think so. Yeah, well, I know I you think don't think so. That's why we don't agree. him. That's what they call him to make the divisive argument. No. Hey, look, it's it, true. I mean, you have. Uh, when was the last time you had people within a party break as much as they have from the election on, from even the from before the election, we, when they, we, even like during the the, the convention, Republicans um, coming out saying we cannot have this guy as president. Trump is crude. Yeah. And and because he's crude, there are some people that just don't like the message. Goes beyond crude, though. I mean, because he's not even he's not even being honest. Because we all know what Trump was before he was president. We know it because he didn't hide it. Yeah. And now he's walking around with a Bible. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah. Good. Come on, that's it's fake. It's that's not genuine. Fake. There's you nothing know. genuine about him. Well, it it doesn't you know he doesn't have to be genuine. What he's doing <laughs> is what he what he said he was going to do, and no, I'm yeah. happy. Phil, tear the country apart. That's what he Phil, said. Phil, he, was he has do. to be. Uh, I disagree it. with you. He has to be genuine, because the people, the American public, has to be able to put their faith in him. Right. And that's why he has to be genuine. And he has he hasn't got a genuine or empathetic bone in his entire body. Because he's putting America first. No, he's uh, no, he's, not. he's putting he's America putting first, first against yeah. everything else and everybody else. Well, yeah. and well, actually, America, actually, the hat should wear "Make Trump first. Yeah, well, America's because that's really what he's saying. And the last thing he's doing is making Trump first because he has been giving uh, his time, his effort, and his money oh. to. Making America first. And, oh, oh, oh uh, yeah, it, his money. How much? His, his, his money. Do, do you know? How, <laughs> do you know how wealthy he's gotten from being president? I, I think he's lost a, a million, a billion dollars. No, he hasn't. Oh, Not yeah. on your life, Phil. I'd like to see how many times he has known something was going to happen and bought a, and sold a stock and got into Let's another see, one like, because uh, it's something he like knew the, he was uh, going to do on Monday. You know. Let's look into that one, Phil. Anyway, listen. Make sure the military stays at his hotels. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, the theme is playing, folks. Uh, thanks to everybody. You know, I, because they put up the names now, I can read everybody's name. Rob Alfano, thank you. Charlie Wallace, thank you. Pamela Zeller, always good to have you here, Pamela. Good. Keep taking those hormones. Uh, Tony, thank you. Thank you to Brian Neary. Thank you to John Larkin. Always like having you here, John. And Phil Meyer, of course, shut the fuck up. Anyway, everybody, give a big uh, wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye to you as well. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Um, uh, and uh, the, uh, uh, next is uh, the uh, uh, intersection with a guy by the name of Jack Bishop. He'll be here uh, right up next uh, to talk to you. So stick around. Be part of that citizen panel. In the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow. He'll be on at 1030. Same time. Same station in life. I'm stalling because I'm actually getting out of here early. Well, what the hell? I get out of here early anyway. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, Tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody, and stay safe and wear a mask. <laughs>